This video shows importing data from a txt file into R using the read table function. The following arguments are the most important ones. Before starting out though, you need to specify a data frame, for instance df or simply data. Now you can use the read.table function with the first argument being the file name put into quotation marks. You can either use the full name or only the file name if it is located within your working directory. If it is located outside your working directory, you simply put the respective path in front of the file name. This would already work, but there are certainly a lot more arguments you might be interested in. The first one is using the header argument. Setting this one to true will use the first line in your txt file to name the variables. The default value is true, so you only need to use header equals false in case you have no names in the first row of your data. In case you want to give custom variable names, use the call.names argument. Make sure to use a C for combine and then within quotation marks the very first name, then use a comma for the second name and so forth. It is very important though that you have all of the variables named. If one is missing or there is an extra one, this one won't work. Since I already imported it and I have 26 variables, I better leave this one out. Next up, you can define a decimal sign with the des argument. In case you're from Europe, you want to use the comma within quotation marks. If you're from the US, rather use the dot. Using the sep argument allows for defining a different separator than the default whitespace. If you're using tab stops, for instance, you need to put a backslash and t into quotation marks. In my case, I'm using tab stops, so this is for me. In case you only want to import a certain number of rows, you can use the n rows argument. n rows equals 120 will import the first 120 rows. If you, however, want to skip a certain number of rows, use the skip argument. For instance, use skip equals 5 if you want to skip the first 5 lines. Please be careful though, if you have your variable names within the first line, this one will be skipped. So use skip with caution and only if you have something above that is not data related. So I will also skip this one, no pun intended. In case you have completely blank lines throughout your data file, use the blank.lines.skip equals true argument. Another helpful argument is strings as factors equals true, which allows you to automatically convert variables that contain strings and values into factors. The use of the so-called call classes argument allows for specifying the class of each column separately. Speaking from experience though, R is pretty good at detecting the proper class of the variable. To see all other existing arguments, you can call up the R documentation by simply double clicking the read.table function and hitting the F1 key. You can see that there are a lot of other arguments. The majority of them is for very specific cases though. 